I kind of have this interesting idea for widening tracks. So I got this track and I've put a utility on it to make it mono. So the way that you would usually go about widening a track is you would use something like Ozone 11, right? Um, but my buddy Ben in Kanti just built this plugin called Combobulator. It has these models here. It was trained by different artists. So I have a model here. So in real time, it's like actually generating stuff. The thing that sort of piqued my interest is that it's got this width control here. So if we turn this all the way up to 100%, you'll get something like this. So what that's doing to create the side information is it's actually generating slightly different stuff in both speakers. So that's true stereo information. We're not just taking the whole thing and offsetting one channel by a certain amount of milliseconds. If I then get an instance of Combobulator, turn the width all the way up, turn the lows down, and then I put a utility after it and turn this all the way up to sides, and then I layer it with a dry version of the signal, which we know is mono, well then we're getting real side information. So the side stuff sounds like this. If I play this with Combobulator generating the sides, it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 